Welcome to Cumberland Update, your source for information about Cumberland County news and events. I'm your host, Geneve Mankel. Cumberland County recently rolled out Cumberland Alerts, a new countywide emergency notification system. Anyone who has a home or work address in Cumberland County is urged to sign up for the new system. It's important to know that anyone who has signed up for the previous alert system must sign up for Cumberland Alerts. Information from the old system will not be transferred to the new system. To sign up for notifications, visit www.co.cumberland.nc.us forward slash alerts and create a user account. Once an account is established, users will enter their address, which will be used to send location-based alerts. The system also allows for multiple addresses to be entered. Users will also choose if they want to receive alerts by text, phone call, or email and enter their contact information. Users will then be able to personalize their weather notifications by selecting the weather alerts they want to receive. All subscribers will receive other alerts such as missing persons and law enforcement activity in their area. Residents who do not have access to a computer or the internet or who might have difficulty with the sign-up process can visit any of the eight Cumberland County Public Library branches and a library staff member will be happy to assist them with signing up. You can also call emergency services at 678-7688 for assistance. Cumberland County Animal Control wants to remind all pet owners to license and vaccinate their pets. North Carolina state law requires that dogs, cats, and ferrets get vaccinated against rabies. The vaccination makes sure pets are protected if they ever come into contact with a rabid animal and helps prevent rabies in our community, which is a key mission for Cumberland County Animal Control. Along with the rabies vaccination, Cumberland County requires all dogs and cats four months and older get a pet privilege license every year. If you don't license or vaccinate your pet, you could get a fine of $100 for each violation. There are several ways you can license your pet. You can go online to www.licensepet.com forward slash Cumberland County NC, or you can ask your vet to license your pet. Licensing is also available by visiting Animal Control in person or by downloading a form from the Cumberland County website and mailing it to Animal Control at 4704 Corporation Drive in Fayetteville. The licensing fee is $7 for pets that are spayed or neutered, or $25 for those that are not. License fees are waived for residents 65 years old and older and for certified service animals. For more information about pet privilege licenses, visit the Animal Control section of our website or call 321-6945. Kick off your Labor Day with fun for the whole family at the Cumberland County Fair at the Crown Coliseum Complex. Opening day is September 1st at 5 p.m. and the fair runs through September 10th with daily exhibits, entertainment, food, and fun. The Cumberland County Fair pays tribute to our county's rich agricultural heritage and educates people about how farming remains important to our economy and the dinner table. There are plenty of rides and activities for the whole family, including a petting zoo and various interactive exhibits. See a complete fair schedule and event program at cumberlandcountyfair.org. Join us for a special ceremony as the Cumberland County Courthouse is dedicated to retired Superior Court Judge E. Maurice Braswell, September 20th. The ceremony will begin at 9 a.m. at the courthouse located at 117 Dick Street in downtown Fayetteville. Braswell's name was recently installed on the front of the building and a brass plaque will be placed inside the front entrance of the courthouse. Braswell was instrumental in the construction of the courthouse, which opened in 1978. The courthouse will be dedicated in honor and memory of Judge Braswell for his distinguished service to the nation, the state of North Carolina, the people of Cumberland County, the legal profession, and judicial system. A decorated World War II prisoner of war, Braswell served as a Superior Court Judge, Senior Resident Superior Court Judge, Court of Appeals Judge, and Emergency Superior Court Judge. Thanks for watching this edition of Cumberland Update. If you would like more information about your county government, please visit our website, give us a call, or follow us on social media. 
Cumberland County, caring, committed, community.